this is historic. Uh, we're the only late night show to have a full packed audience. That's right. I asked our viewers to send in photographs of themselves. We turned them into cardboard cutouts. Over 15,000 people submitted, and we packed our audience tonight. Here they are, 270 people. Woo. It's a full Woo. house. Look Woo. at that crowd. And Andy Richter's here. Hey, Andy. Hi, Conan. How's the crowd seem? Oh, man, these people are pumped. And they smell a lot better than our normal audience. Well, <laughs> that's a terrible thing to say. Oh. But accurate. Yeah. But accurate. Yeah, we have the muskiest audience in late night, right? Yes, we that's do. What, that's what we advertise. Yes, that's, yeah. that's the kind of crowd we get. Uh, but, you know, this is, this is great. This, I have to say, I'm getting an energy off this crowd. I know it's just cardboard. Right. But these are real people excited enough to share their faces with us. And check them out. Let's take a look. I'm going to get down here and talk to the crowd. Oh, they love it when you do that. Look how pumped they are that I'm down here. You have a, such a personal touch with people. I like the confidence of this man. This is a confident audience member. Yeah. He knows who he is. He's happy with himself. Uh, this guy also dressed up for the show. Always nice to have someone from... Uh, Patty's Irish Pub. Yeah. Yeah. What an original name for an Irish pub, by the way. Pandering. Yeah. Pandering to you. Up all night. What it, <laughs> it is interesting that these are the pictures that people thought, this is the best representation of yes. me. This person didn't put a lot of time yeah. in their photograph. This is as good as it gets. You know, this might be his driver's license photo. <laughs> which... I can't say is probably the best idea. Always good to wear. Oh my God, this woman is beautiful. She's wearing this absolutely gorgeous golden sari and a uh, really spectacular uh, outfit. And um, very nice that. Uh, well, I don't. I'm guessing not a couple. I don't know. Call me crazy, but I'm saying not a couple. That's love, just, love is mysterious, though. Love you is never mysterious. Know. Here we have what appears to be. A Catholic priest, and uh, I hope he's asleep in this photograph. Otherwise, wait, let me see that guy. Otherwise, God. Oh my God! <laughs> he's either asleep uh, or God rest his soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God rest his soul. Hey, everybody! And... It's dead clergy night. <laughs> Tonight on late night, dead clergy night. Uh, cats <laughs> always a big part of the show. That seems to be uh, very popular. We have a cat here who is horrified to be sitting next to a dead priest. And uh, COVID's tough for everybody, but it's especially tough for new moms. And this woman looks like she's just going through hell with this toddler during COVID. So it was nice that we were able, right? Oh boy. It's tough, I sympathize. Yeah, yeah. I sympathize. It's yeah. tough having young kids, but to have young kids during COVID and then to have to come to a taping of yeah. a show. I'm hoping it's a ventriloquist act. Because otherwise, it's a bummer. No, it's really just, it's, it's, I just, I'm thrilled. I'm absolutely thrilled that everyone participated. And we're going to somehow figure out, we're talking to the fire marshal. We're only supposed to have 270 people, but that's real people. We're going to try and pack as many people in here as possible in the nights to come. So if you sent in a picture, or still send one in because we're still printing these out, Yeah, we can get thousands of people into this theater. I'm sensing we're going to get a complaint from whoever's behind Comey. Oh, we yeah. We have a six-foot-six, life-sized uh, Comey. Yeah, we started, when we, when we decided to rip off the baseball, uh, we started with just the cutouts we had, which was these right. guys. Yeah, we started, at the very beginning, all we had was Ruth Bader Ginsburg... Uh, the father, Conrad Bain, from Different Strokes, a six-foot-six six Comey, and four, count them four, Kevin Hartz. Yep. Because if you buy three, the fourth one is free. They throw one in, yeah. Yeah, and so uh, yeah, but that's so what we started out with. But I feel bad because there's someone sitting behind Comey. Comey's so big. You know what? he's blocking their view of the show. Can you do anything, Andy? I sure can. I have just the trick. Oh. Good thing you always carry your... I 
I love how Ruth Gator Vader Ginsburg is hiding. Ah! Can you see him now? Yes. He looks That's like fantastic. he's from Shawshank. Much, much better. I have been bringing this jigsaw to work for like 15 years. I want to try something. Andy, check it out. Tell I, me if this is. I like. Yeah. I mean, there's a there's a very obvious joke there that I'm not going to say. No, no one would make that joke. No one would make that joke. Meow. Uh oh. She. You know what? She doesn't look like it, but she is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> she goes ape shit when you come out here. I, mean, I you know what? This is the person I always make eye contact with when I come out for a real <laughs> show. This is the reaction that I'm looking at and wondering why. Wh why did you even come to the show? <laughs> why do you even enjoy comedy at all? Yeah. You look like you're here to pass a death sentence and you've come to a show. I don't understand. Yeah. She's part of a, a trade delegation that I'm bringing in. her up with me. Wow. You know what? Sometimes if an audience member isn't truly being won over, you can get them by bringing them up on stage with you. Does she seem any happier now? <laughs> she All right, still well. seems like she's saying no to your loan. <laughs> So nice to be trying to do comedy while my home loan is being turned down. 